Independence is the key to developing happy, well-adjusted children. And it's one of those things, it's a conversation. Do you like doing things on your own? Yeah. And what does independent mean again? All by yourself. How does doing something on your own make you feel? I feel awesome. Excited, big, nervous, strong, proud. Are you ready? Yes. Why do you think it's so hard for parents to let kids do things on their own? Because they think that they don't have the capability to do things that they can. This is a story about all I can do. And it isn't just me. It's her, him, them, you. Who thinks it's fun to be independent? It's hard for parents to let go. But it's an opportunity for the kids to learn new things. They grow up. It's scary for parents. What does it mean to think outside of the box? I think Let Grow has been very pivotal in helping kids develop self-esteem at our school. So tell me what you did for your Let Grow project. Our Let Grow projects focus on us being independent. I did my homework all by myself. For the Let Grow project, I've been walking my sister home by myself. And what grade is your sister in? Uh, kinder. I like to help because it makes me feel like I matter. I did a lemonade stand. How much did you make? $50. I made eggs for my family. What kind of eggs? Scrambled. And I learned how to use the stove, and I did it for myself. For my little project, I tried to pick up a grasshopper because I've been scared of bugs my whole life, and I just wanted to take a closer look. I babysat my brother. I set up a tent. I went grocery shopping alone. Would you say that you're still afraid of bugs? No. What's nice about this is that it's tangible to them. I want to try to invent something. Everything starts with their ownership, their interest, their development, and then it grows from there. I trimmed the bushes. I opened a coconut. We wrote a poem. Its name is Independence. It's something you should know. And once you have a taste of it, you'll want more. And then you'll grow. According to my notes, you were going to wash your mom's car. How did that go? Yes, it was way too cold outside to wash the outside, so I ended up doing the inside. So just in case the plan A fails, you always want a backup plan. Independence can be tricky in lots of different ways, but you have to keep on pushing through. It's sort of like a maze. Are you going to get it right the first time? No. No, no. but does that mean we give up? No. No. Would you say you're resilient? Yeah. 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 By opening those conversations about independence, children can dream bigger. I see things on the other side. Of our fence. Of my street. Our town. I need to know what happens there. I want to look around. This isn't about success. It's just about providing an opportunity to learn from failure. I forgot to get a receipt. I had to give away my bearded dragon. I pulled some flowers out with the weeds. The frosting didn't really spread very well. It like kind of tore up the cake, but it was very good. And let grow. The trophy you really get is one step closer to being who you are. We all don't grow in the same direction. We all don't grow the same way. We all don't grow in the same soil. And let grow has been about taking your soil, owning it, figuring out what direction you have to grow in, and giving you the opportunity to try and see how that works out. What do you want to say to the grown-ups? I can do it. But I will still hold your hand. Sometimes.